Yo everyone, Paul here back with another video. This week we are learning four ways you are not using Lightroom. More specifically, what we're talking about is local adjustments. Now I get it, there are hundreds of videos on YouTube of how to do this effect, how to do that effect. I want to try and give you some new tips. Now majority of the time when you're trying to augment photos and trying to add your own little flair on them, own little creativity as it were, normally we'd be doing that all in Photoshop. That's where you have the most power and most control. But I'm well aware not everyone likes Photoshop and it's a little bit confusing. So what I've done is compiled a couple of effects that you can do inside of Lightroom to really accentuate your photos, take it into the next level as you were, start creating bangers for your Instagram. Now some of these tips can be used on pretty much any photo but some of them are for specific photos. So let's move on to tip number one. The first technique we will be learning is accentuating the fog using graduated filters. This works best if there's already fog in the image but I've had some success adding fog in completely. The three sliders you should be focused on are exposure, clarity and dehaze. Here are my settings. This effect is a little strong for me, so to give us full control, we're gonna be using the luminance range mask. Drag the slider up to start affecting the highlights and down to start affecting the shadows. Play around till you get your own desired effect. Be careful not to go crazy. Now that's all out of the way, let's go on to tip number two. The next effect we're learning is to use the radial filter to enhance the sun's glow. We wanna place the radial filter roughly where the sun is emanating from. Similar to the last technique, we're gonna focus on exposure, clarity and dehaze, but we're also gonna use the temperature slider to match the sun's warmth. To really sell this effect, we're gonna blend using the feather tool. Just remember guys, less is more. So let's go on to tip number three. So for the next technique, we're gonna be creating an anamorphic lens flare. This is a pretty popular technique in stylistic films, and if used correctly, it can make your photos look really cinematic. Although this look is normally achieved through lenses, we can kind of fake it in Lightroom. The great thing about this one is we can actually use the settings from the previous image and then tweak from there. The only real difference is the size and position of our light source. And of course, we need one for each light. So let's move on to our fourth and final tip. And that's creating that Orton dreamy effect that we all love and is really popular amongst landscape photographers. That really dreamy, soft highlight look that makes the image look otherworldly. So there are a few different ways to achieve the Orton effect. However, my favorite is using the graduated filter over the entire image. The best settings I've found are using the white, clarity, dehaze, and contrast. To really dial this in, we're gonna be using the luminance range mask. We don't really want this to be applied to the highlights, so what we're gonna do is drag that bottom slider all the way up until it's only affecting the brightest parts of our image. Again, this is pretty easy to overdo. And that is the four tips guys, that is pretty much it. Fairly straightforward, fairly simple, but as an added bonus, just in case you didn't want to go through all of that, I created a link where you can download four presets that create all these effects and have everything pre-made for you. So check the link down in the description, download them, use them, tag me if you're going to use them. I want to see how you've implemented it. So that's it guys, I hope I taught you something, I hope you got some value from this video. If not, even if you just enjoyed it, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, doing all those YouTube things. But until next time guys, Peace. My friend pointed me out, this is peace, this is not peace. You ever seen that Mean Girls film when they, when they steal the tickets at the end and they're like, peace? I would like to present you with two gifts. Thanks, sucker! <laughs> peace! It's what I've got in my head every single time.